Fire crews on those front lines tonight are breathing in fumes that can cause a whole lot of uh, issues, health problems, including cancer. And on Thursday, the California Board of Pharmacy will vote on whether or not to restrict access to certain medications that many in the firefighting community rely on. Up for debate are Category 1 sterile compounds that include B12 shots and glutathione. Crystal Frost is finding to preserve access. She's part of this movement. It's known as Stop the Bop or Stop the Board of Pharmacy. And Crystal is here in studio tonight. Good to have you. You were with us last month, and there has been some progress in this fight to stop the bop in that the California Board of Pharmacy, a month ago, they were seeking to fully ban these Category 1 sterile compounds. They've since revised their language to restrict access to it. In other words, they're saying firefighting uh, communities they could still have access to glutathione, which helps them recover after a firefight. They just need to get uh, permission from us, essentially, in order to do this. Seems like good progress. Why is that not good enough? Okay, well, there's a few reasons. First of all, there's a lot of answers to that question, but one of the reasons specifically is something that they're not telling you, which is that the price is gonna go up exponentially. They're, they're, they're requiring pharmacies to do extensive additional testing that's not required for other treatments, other drugs, and um, powders that arrive at compounding pharmacies will have to be sent right back out to do thousands of dollars of more testing, and this testing is redundant. These are tests that would have already been done on these compounds, so prices will go up and the consumer will feel that and and I think our estimate is it'll go up at least three times as high we don't we obviously don't have the exact number for that right now um, the other thing the other thing that they're not telling you is that the whole point of them writing these regulations is to sort of codify their extreme stance that they've actually had for years they've been enforcing what we're calling underground regulations because they're not actual laws, they're not real regulations yet, and yet they've been using intimidation to try and, you know, they've been using intimidation and lawsuits and penalizing pharmacies for producing these substances, even though they're legal. So it's had a statewide chilling effect, and pharmacies are already too scared to produce these substances, and pharmacies out of state are also too scared to sell these substances in California. So it's already hurting us. And, and there's no restrictions at all for, for B12 shots or glutathione in any of the other states. So no. California would be the most restrictive. And for those saying, I don't, I don't know what glutathione is, it's a natural antioxidant that helps many, as mentioned in the firefighting community, but things like chronic fatigue, asthma, cancer, cancers, autoimmune disorders. Let's hear from somebody. Uh, this is a Bay Area firefighter who is doing her part to get her voice heard. Hi, my name is Stephanie Ensley. I'm a volunteer firefighter. I'm out on the park fire right now volunteering. We're exposed to incredible toxins while fighting wildland fires and structure fires, etc. Please do not remove our access to glutathione as it's one of the only things out there that will reduce that I'm exposed to and prevent me from getting cancer. There is a lot of public support for your movement. If this, in fact, is restricted on Thursday by the Board of Pharmacy, how dire would that be? It would be very dire because it, it's essentially what they've done is they've chipped away, you know, at, at compounding pharmacies and their ability to just operate like normal, like normal in other pharmacies. And these are pharmacies that are depended on by people with very, very severe health problems, people who need custom medications. And it feels to us like, com like the, the Board of Pharmacy is trying to drive compounding pharmacies out of California because we used to have 100 sterile compounding pharmacies in California and we're down to 18. Oh, and wow. so these regulations are still very, very stringent and they're gonna harm pharmacies and they're gonna harm their patients. And the other thing, like I said before, is it does nothing. They've done nothing to undo the damage that's already been done with their underground regulations, which have, have scared pharmacies out of producing these substances in the first place. Pharmacies have faced lawsuits and, and um, you know, a lot of consequences. So how can people get involved? The Board of Pharmacy will meet on Thursday and public comment is welcome.
Yes, yes. So we highly encourage that people get involved and they can go to our website, stopthebob.com slash act now. And there you, there's access links. They can join the board meeting and they can give a public comment. They're, you, they're going to be allotted between two and five minutes. It varies. Um, and they can, the other thing they can do is sign the petition, which is at change.org slash stopthebob. We highly encourage people to get involved, reach out to us. They can email us. It's, we're, we're easy to contact. Um, okay. Okay, yeah, the, the website is mm -hmm. simple. It is stopthebop.com. Everything you can find there. Uh, we'll follow up on Thursday. Be paying attention to the California Board of Pharmacy. Crystal Frost, thanks so much for being here tonight.